A lot on tap today. I'm meteorologist Dave Humpty. Let's start off by taking a look at Morro Bay. This is live from our 805 webcams out there. You can see some high clouds early today. It was low clouds. We even saw a halo around the sun. How does that happen? I have a full discussion on that. We've even written a news story about it at KSBY.com as well. So let's move on and talk a little bit about where we're sitting. 68 degrees, San Luis Obispo. Traffic not so bad. Northwest winds 16 miles per hour. Avila Beach 62, 18 mile per hour winds. So even though we've cleaned out the cloud cover, you can see the influence it had early in the day. 65 west winds 14, so a little onshore for Santa Barbara. That all holds temperatures down. Look at the height of the marine cloud deck for the south coast and the high clouds overhead. Weather is very much three dimensional and always helps to get those really good perspective views. Now this is underneath it. And this is what it looked like for the Mesa and the Riviera. You can just see it looks like roiling clouds are really interesting on the time lapse and Cuesta Peak as well. We're right there at the cloud level. So 2700 feet here and just above it. That's where the clouds were ultimately cleaning off. Seven day forecast at the bottom of your screen. 10 day forecast available. Satellite radar hourly forecast and not just here for the Central Coast anywhere for a free app. Not bad. Search for it in your app store. 84 Cuyama 70 in Santa Barbara and Santa Maria today. Morro Bay 62 76 Paso Robles. Just a few days ago, temperatures were near 100 degrees, 24 degrees cooler than that today. So here's that high cloud spray from the jet stream, the low cloud deck in here. And what we're going to see is a little more surface wind like we saw this afternoon. It will help partially mix out the marine cloud deck, but the increase in winds will result in more energy getting into the swells. So six to nine footers with local sets to 10 feet likely for the Central Coast this weekend. So that elevated surf also includes some dangerous rip South Coast three to five feet, but also some rip potential. It's not a surf advisory, not yet. It's a beach hazard statement. Some hourly forecasts mid to upper 70s in Atascadero Saturday. Orchid in the mid 60s after early clouds. Morro Bay struggling to get right around 60 degrees. Again, I think we see some partial sunshine in the afternoon. San Luis about 70. Santa Maria mid 60s. The wind forecast again, we're talking about winds 15 plus in Cayucas. Gaviota winds will be breezy. No advisories there, but later tomorrow the winds 25 miles per hour. Lompoc afternoon winds 15 to 20 Morro Bay winds fairly light until we get into tomorrow afternoon. Paso Robles currently rather breezy with less wind until we get tomorrow afternoon. Pismo Beach is going to be breezy in the afternoon with winds up to 15 20 miles per hour. This trough of low pressure moving into the west. One of the reasons those winds will increase mid 60s Santa Maria Lompoc Santa Barbara 68 70 slow 84 in Paso Robles so warmer than today for the interior 78 Atascadero 82 San Miguel 61 in Cambria. I did boost the beach temperatures just a little bit because I do think we're going to see some afternoon sunshine. Now granted the winds will be on shore, but a little sunshine ought to warm us up at least out of the 50s for beaches. Extended forecast steady through Monday warming, especially in the interior 95 possible on Wednesday. The coastal temperatures will increase as well, but with some marine influence, at least we're avoiding any of those really big numbers and we've talked about it a lot with drought. We don't need the big numbers back to you.